Andley, uh, getting yourself in today, for having played cricket in quite a while in, in as far as this environment is concerned, also off-season, yeah. and coming in and getting three wickets and the bowling Zimbabwe air out for so little, must be enthralling. Yeah, it was a real good day for the boys, obviously. It's been a while since we were back out, um, being outdoors, but then today it was a rewarding feeling getting them out so early. Although I thought they did play quite well, to be fair. And obviously they, they took us down to the wire at the end as well, which was interesting. It was a good day to watch, wasn't it? And then looking at it, uh, like you said, it was playing quite well. Mm -hmm. uh, some say it was a bit flat at times. Yeah. But being able to still extract something out of that, uh, what is that down to? Uh, I think it's just game awareness, to be honest. I think if you're batting out there, it's, it's like... Do you know what I mean? You've got to look what the conditions are doing. I think our batter's done that really well, especially after his. He looked like where he wanted to score, where he didn't want to score, and then especially the bowlers. We felt like the bumper was, the bouncer was like in the game all the time, so we used that quite a lot, but then also trying to hold our lengths. Seemed like a little bit of a difficulty with the left spinner there. Yeah, uh, is that yeah, something yeah, like, that uh, you're working on? He looked like a nice bowler. Um, looked like he held a nice length, nice line, so yeah. Lads look like they struggled a little bit with the, the left arm spin, but I'm sure sure they'll be all right in the next innings. And what sort of lead are you looking at? Lead, oh god, a uh, few wickets left. 200 lead would be nice for you. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully, pretty much basketball, isn't it? Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the best. Thank you very much. Cheers.